there are a number of us who have gotten Oshkosh in various ways. In 1981, I flew an ultralight all the way from California to here at about 45 miles an hour. And I thought that was cool. But then there's these crazy pilots who flew all the way uh, across the Atlantic and did it on 42 gallons. And I guess what? You out crazy me. And I love it. Tell me all about the trip to Oshkosh. Yeah, thank you. But, uh, you know, uh, we were not crazy. I think you were more crazy than flying that sm- small ultralight from uh, east to west. But, uh, you know, the, the big difference is the reason, uh, the performance, the plane achieved, the efficiency of the plane. So we took off a little south of Milan. We landed at Stornoway in Scotland. That was an easy trip. We were uh, touching 210 knots sometimes. It took only six hours, the whole flight. Then we took off from Stornoway direct to Goose Bay. That was a little more challenge. We have had no really good weather at the very beginning, but overall was very good, not too much from wind. We were not able to climb that much due to the rules of uh, CAA in England. We have to stay low. But at the end, it came up 11 hours flight with uh, 165 knots cruise and uh, 42 gallons uh, total fuel consumption. We refueled in Goose Bay, and uh, the day after, we took off in Goose Bay and fly direct to Appleton due to the fact that Appleton is an international airport with uh, customs. And that flight was, of course, only eight hours, but very relaxing flight. Robert, tell me about your plans for the U.S. market. Well, we're just penetrating the U.S. market. We currently have 14 flying in the U.S. right now and several under construction. The plan right now, and we're putting this into place now, we, need, we needed to have a centralized location that was used for reassembly, maintenance, flight training, flight test. And I happen to live in Utah, so I was kind of biased, but we ended up picking an airport south of Salt Lake City. So these airplanes, basically, you go over to Italy the way the current rules and regulations are now, You'll spend 10 days in Cremella, Italy, just south of Lake Como. It'll be a 10-day build, in which you will perform some light manufacturing. Roughly five months later, a 20-foot shipping container will end up in Nephi, reassembled, inspected, flight tested, flight training, and the owner's on his way. How much? A typically well-equipped price for one of these is around 350000 U.S., that can vary ten, twenty thousand dollars depending on options. I can honestly say, for the horsepower, normal cruise condition, we smoke about everybody. Now I have a nine fifteen myself, and at ten thousand feet, seventy percent power, which is pretty relaxed. I'm cruising at one hundred ninety five knots, burning six point eight gallons an hour. It's very impressive, but at the same time, it's a very gentle, docile aircraft. Our typical approach speeds are seventy knots. And that's without full flaps. Fowler flaps give you the ability to get the airplane down to a 65-knot approach with a 43-knot stall speed, just about what a 172 will do. What is the uh, current production allocation for the U.S. market? Today we are producing a little more than one plane per month. We are still a young company growing fast. This year we're expecting to deliver 14 planes. Uh, we have delivered uh, eight templates last year. We are now developing a four seat, and uh, we are looking forward to put a production facility in the next years in U.S. So this is next to come. And right now, it's about a one year out waiting list that is going to unfortunately grow as we take in more orders. But that's the state of play right now. Well, again, I'm dying to fly it. It's uh, stylistically, it's gorgeous. I found in aviation that many times uh, function follows form, and if that's the case, this thing is going to be just an amazing, amazing bird to fly. We thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thanks to you for your time. Thank you for the interview. Thank you for coming to visit us. EarthX is dedicated to producing the highest quality, most reliable, and best performing lithium batteries in the world, and is passionate to bring this battery technology to the certified and experimental aircraft market. EarthX batteries are lighter weight and provide more power over outdated lead acid batteries. They also have double the lifespan, recharge in minutes, and have a much lower self discharge rate, so they remain charged longer. Find your battery at EarthXBatteries.com.